Hello everybody, today I'm going to speak with you about a unique approach to health. It's called health concept. In order to understand the health concept, you have to understand a very simple thing. Our body, even though very complex, really needs only a couple of things. One thing is to get in the nutrients that it requires to build, and number two is to get out all the waste that our body receives from outside and generates inside. So let's talk about what's inside of us. We have our body, and then we have organs, and then we have tissue, but the center of all of this is the cell. And we really need to understand that if our cell is happy, meaning it gets all the nutrients and removes from it all the waste, our body will be healthy regardless of what. So what our cells need? They need amino acids, fatty acids, vitamins, minerals, enzymes. If any of these pieces is missing, our cell cannot be healthy by definition. And not healthy cell cannot create healthy tissue, healthy tissue cannot create healthy organs, and healthy organs will not create a healthy body. So that's very simple and logic. So we don't have to spend much time here. It's called cell nutrition. The second part, in order for these nutrients to get to our cell, we need something that everybody knows what it is, it's water. Our body is built about 70% of water. About 70% of water. Some organs build as much as 90% of water. Meanwhile, many people in today's world do not drink enough of water. And here's what happens. When we breathe, we lose water. When we pee, I don't know how it's called. E, we lose water. When it's fit, we lose water. So we need to refill it. And we really need certain quality and quantity. quality of water has a lot of different uh, indicators, but we'll look at only two of them today for the simplicity purposes. The ash level is the level of acidity in our body, or for that matter, in any substance. And it measured from one, which is acidic, to uh, 14, which is base. Most of the liquids inside of our body Put in our blood is about 7.43, which is slightly uh, alkaline. Anything that we eat and drink in today's world, except for uh, green leafy vegetables, are mostly in this spectrum, which creates a lot of acidity in our body, and as a result, our body has to fight to bring this back here, where it's easily accessible to us. So, what happens is this, when we drink coffee, it's about 3, our body needs 7.43, so our body has to spend energy or we'll get to a second one else to reduce, uh, to increase this to this, to not hurt our body. Uh, so, again, I just mentioned that many people do not drink enough water, and uh, let's talk about people who actually do drink water. The water in uh, bottles or in, in the tub is in the range between 6.5 to 7 pH level which is an okay level, except that this 6.5 still has to be converted to 7.43 to be accessible to our cells. And again, this is the energy that our body will have to use. Uh, we'll uh, discuss the way to improve it in a moment.
The second indication that we want to consider is all oxidation redox potential. And what it is, is basically the ability, it's the char electric charge of our body. Our body inside is charged 140 millivolts. And this charge is normal for our body. Anything that is uh, more positive, the body has to adjust. Um, let's look at the water again because we're talking about the water. The recommended water level uh, of oxidation of potential is from negative 100 to positive 100. And our top water in New York is between 200 to 400 millivolts. In the world, positive. So that's not good. Again, our body has to spend a lot of energy to convert this into at least 100 negative. Uh, we found a way, and if you're interested later, we'll discuss how to get to the proper oxidation redox potential. The other thing is the quantity of the water, and this is very individual to each of us, but there is some basic rules. So the minimum amount of water we need is uh, half an ounce per pound of weight to maximum of one ounce per pound of weight. Now this is really big range and why is the difference? The difference is our lifestyle. If a person has sedentary lifestyle, they don't have to drink so much water. The 0 0.5 ounces per pound would be sufficient to refill their uh, uh, body liquids that they use and feel fit the body. If you have more uh, active lifestyle, you need to drink a little bit more, and that's what we're talking about, one ounce of water. Now, let's say we fed our body with all the nutrients, we put in enough water, and uh, we still don't get a good result. Why is that? We have in our body mini universe that is occupied by bacteria, fungus, viruses, parasites. All these bodies live inside of our body and believe it or not, most of them we do need for normal uh, living. The only bodies for that really not necessary are parasites. And they live inside of us, they eat the same food we eat, they die inside of us, they pee and poo inside of us, and all of this uh, intoxicates our body. So we have to create a process by which we eliminate those that we don't need and get in check those that we still do need. And this process is called detox. And this is a very general term because it applies to many different systems. In our case, we suggest three different levels of detox. The first one is to clean your cells and remove from them uh, toxins, toxins and free radicals. Toxins come from outside as well as they generate it inside of our body. And uh, they also can be water soluble or fat soluble. So you have to make sure that whatever detox program you're using address both of these issues. You have to take care of water soluble uh, toxins as well as fat soluble toxins. So once you do this, your cell is going to be clean inside like you clean your house. Now, the next thing that you want to take care of is this, guys. All the little bodies inside of us, so you have to take care of uh, parasites and take anti-parasite program. And what this program does, it does not kill any of this, but it creates a condition inside of our body where they have to live at their own volition, and this way our body just becomes cleaner. Final step that we have to do is we have to clean our digestive tract. And 
And why this is important is because everything we eat goes through the digestive tract, and if it's uh, clogged, like this is your sink, right? And then we have these pipes here. Looks familiar. Most of the time, if you don't clean them for a while, you have all this mess build up here. And if it builds up, then whatever you put in the sink does not go through the sewer. So it stays in you, same thing with the food. You put it in your clogged digestive tract and it doesn't get absorbed, so you have to eat more to get the same amount of energy, which is making us, all of us bigger. So that's the three steps you want to take in terms of the de detoxing your body. Now, let's put all of this in perspective. First, let's use this. We need our cells to be fed, renal cells, nutrition. And again, this is one, two, three, four, five. You remember amino acids, fatty acids, vitamins, minerals, enzymes. Second, we need hydrate. Water. Again, when we're talking about water, we're not talking about tea or coffee, we're talking about pure water. And again, we have to remember about quality. At minimum, cash more, 7.42, and oxidation redux potential between minus 100 to plus, wait, sorry, it's not plus, to plus 100. And we need weight, quantity, from 0 0.5 to 1 ounce per pound. Finally, we need detox. We need to clean our body to make sure that our cells are clean, our parasites are out, Fungus in check. And digestive tract. Now, when all of this is done, all we have to do is just to go and make sure that we are protected. Protected from electric magnetic fields right from uh, toxins remember we talked about toxins and last but not least psychological toxins from other people If you have any questions, reach out to us and we'll give you more information about our health concept and the way we found how to follow these five four simple steps. Thank you. Bye-bye.